Dream Team, it's your boy D Needle back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are once again with the Armstrong and Miller show. We got World War II Pilots 3. I'm excited to jump into this. These guys were absolutely hilarious. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any of it, put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me human uh but just drop your favorite video suggestion in the comment section what we got right this is it chaps we land in normandy in five minutes and i wish you all the best of british because well i'm sure you all know too well what we can expect on that beach <laughs> so weird that curly wilson let us take his place on this french trip isn't it he must be a colossal gay lord <laughs> for sure man he's missing out big time i love the seaside isn't it so like sandy or pebbly or some shit like that you can see ladies' nudie legs in their bathing costumes. And sometimes a little bit of pube sticks out. You can see, like, the little bit of pubes and all this sticking out. Classic. Is you gonna get chips and shit? Oh, yeah. I was gonna get chips and shit and the Savaloy and all this. Now I was gonna put on so much vinegar that my lips turn all blue and I look like my nan did when her neck stopped working. Lush! You know if they had donkey rides on the beach, yeah? Yeah. Like donkey rides all up the beach, yeah? Yeah, all on a donkey and this, that, and everything else, all donkey down. Yeah, yeah. I love the way that all of donkey and this, that, and everything else. Yeah, and her pubes sticking out. Yeah, and her pubes are sticking out and everything like that. Yeah, I love the way they talk, bro. Like donkey rides all up the beach, yeah. Yeah, all under donkey and this, that, and everything else. Or donkey down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if they do have donkey rides, right? If they do has donkey rides, I ain't doing no donkey rides because donkey rides is cruel, blood. Because they don't like ox the donkey. <laughs> They just make them do it with a gun or a whip or electric or a blade or some shit like that. It's like a kind of slavery. I mean, how would you like it if a fat man sat on your back and made you do stuff? Mm. Talking about my granddad. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> how would you like it if a fat man sat on your back and made you do stuff? You talking about my granddad? <laughs> what? Forget it. We're almost there. Aren't you going to black your faces for camouflage? Do I look like a mad racist? <laughs> this isn't the olden times, man. This is nowadays. You need to get some diversity trained big time. <laughs> Sir, we're here! Right! Company! Attention! Why is he so strict, then? I don't know, man. He's like really uptight. Some people never relax on holiday, isn't he? <laughs> this is it! This is D-Day! This is where we end this war! Good luck, chefs! Go, go, go! Ah, oh, dude. I don't think I'll bother. It's really crowded. Yeah, man, it's well rammed. We'll never get a deck chair or a midi, and the bogs are going to be rank. Why so many people, Dad? I don't know. Yeah. Must be half term. All right, Dad. Welcome, Chris, man. Oh, gentlemen, welcome. Always a pleasure to serve our brave lads in uniform. It is a good uniform, isn't it? Shows off all my pecs and shit. <laughs> You've got good pecs. You was built. He is hench. <laughs> I as well, buff. Like that guy who's Tarzan, except not really Tarzan, because he's an actor. I love that guy. He rocks my world, 24-7. <laughs> but, you know, I have such admiration for you blokes. Cheers, big ears. I heard on the wireless this morning, in fact, that even now, some of your colleagues are out risking their lives over the South Downs, keeping the people of this country safe from the Nazi jackboot. That's right, man. For sure, there is. But we pretended to be ill so we can bunk off over the common for a smoke and a picnic. <laughs> yeah, so the thing is, yeah, we just wanted to buy stuff all like for a picnic. Like cheese and ham and bread and shit. For a picnic. I see. Well, if you give me your ration books, I can see what you're allowed. Yeah, so, right, we want uh, ten ounces, uh, twelve ounces of cheese or some shit like that. And a pound and a half of sort of ham or whatever. And two breads. Yeah. And a big thing of butter and this, that and everything else. And a pork pie with all like an egg in it and everything like that. And uh, some pickled onions and loads of crisps and lemonade tar. Well, sorry, but you're only entitled to an ounce of cheese between you, and no ham, you've used all your tokens, and no butter either, I'm afraid. Yeah, but we want it. <laughs> we, we want it, you see, it's what we want. But you're not entitled. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, though, we want it. I don't think he understands, I think he might have a disease. <laughs> but you're not entitled to that. You already used all your coupons. Yeah, but we want it. Like, that's what we want. But you're not entitled. But we want it. 
love, I love the way they talk. This, that, and everything else. I want like twelve ounces in ish. Uh, if I can talk like that for a day, I do it because that is just fun. Is though we wanted. I don't think he understands. I think he might have a disease. I can let you have what your Russian books entitle you to. Yeah, no, the thing is, though, gross man, we want more than what you said we as allowed. And not giving us what we want is actually against our rights. It might make us experience issues around not having enough ham. But it's one good reason why we can't have loads of cheddar and a pork pie with all like an egg in it and shit. Well, because if you have more than your share, another person will have to have less than their share. And maybe even go without life's necessities entirely. If, if one person is selfish, then someone else has to suffer, do you see? Yes, 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 we see. Yeah, yeah. We won't go no picnic. No, no, we'll just... We'll just have a quarter of Ogden St. Bruno. Right, certainly. Yes, it's a good feeling to know that we're all in it together. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it, though? Sharing. <laughs> Have you got all, like, sand up your crack in this definitely? <laughs> yeah, man, it's mega scratchy on all my region and business. You know what I mean, it's harsh. You know something, blood? What is it, me military brethren? <laughs> I reckon that Welsh guy was really cross with us. You mean Japanese guy? <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, but anyway, that Japanese guy was well vexed up with us when we said we wouldn't build his bridge or whatever it is. Because yeah, he did all shouting, and then he buried us like a potato or that other vegetable you get. Super noodles? Yeah. <laughs> He needs to get over himself, man. We can't build no bridge or escalator or whatever it is because it's against health and safety. You know what I mean? That building site's contravening so many kinds of legislation and shit, and I'm not even lying. Yeah, man, bamboo stepladders are retarded. You know what? I was going to go up council, yeah? The Burma Borough Council. And I'm going to see whoever the guy is there, the safety bitch. And then the Japanese army is going to get, like, a really substantial fine. Like, really substantial. Like it, nice one, sorted, nang, cool, bless, grimy. What? So you know dinner time, yeah? The time you have all your dinner or tea or some shit like that? Dinner time, right? You know that, yeah, that time. <laughs> no, you know dinner time, like the time you have all your, all your tea, all that, all the ish like that. <laughs> the white eggs. Cool, like... bless, grimy. <laughs> So you know dinner time, yeah? The time you have all your dinner or tea or some shit like that? Dinner time, right? You know that, yeah, that time. Time for your dinner. Dinner time. Yeah. So when it's like dinner time, right? How's that gonna work? Is some geezer gonna feed us with a spoon like they have to with your nan in the home and all this? I don't think we're getting no dinner, bud. Seriously, though, what happens at dinner time? No, man, we don't get no dinner. They leave us out here in the scorching sun to starve and burn and dehydrate. That is massively unfair. Massive. So should we say we're going to build their bridge then? No way. We're just going to take the burning sun, man, because that cause is just. Well said, my fam. And also, yeah, we're just going to save so much money at the tanning salon, isn't it? Isn't it, though? Isn't it? <laughs> <Or> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, they're, they're absolutely hilarious. They're absolutely hilarious. That's all we got for this. You guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so I can suggest it. It's your boy Dina. Out.